in from January 28th of 2018, six days out from USPA Western Rebellion in Yorktown Heights at SMG Powerlifting on February 3rd. And uh, uh, this was actually my last training uh, session before the competition. Um, the way I had this program set up for uh, training purposes was to work up to a uh, moderately heavy weight um, for a set of doubles that was not so significantly taxing on my body, but uh, did move efficiently and smoothly uh, to the point where, you know, it's uh, it'll have a good carryover into me day. And uh, clearly, as you could tell, comparing this uh, workout based on my last workout, the speed is significantly different um, in regards to how the, uh, the weight was moving from and it's, yes, it's a 20 pound difference, but it shouldn't be that significant of a difference. And just kind of dissecting and analyzing everything that uh, kind of factored into said performance. Um, a few things that I kind of took in was the day before, I actually had an event in the evening that I actually had to attend. And um, it kind of made me had to adjust the volume of food that I usually consume the, the day before a daily workout, as well as uh, my water intake, as well as my sleeping pattern. Um, so, you know, as well as the time that I trained that day was also playing into a factor as well. So, you know, uh, kind of just going around the routine is kind of uh, something that kind of may, may have made uh, a significant impact. Um, as well as uh, it dropped me a few pounds as well. Um, the day before, I was actually sitting around 187, and that day I actually woke up at around 184. And, um, you know, that significant of a drop can play a factor in regards to your performance. So, you know, it could, it could, uh, it could, it can affect you. So, um, <clears throat> and right now I'm currently sitting at about 185, 186-ish weight wise so I have to make sure that uh, by Saturday or when my weigh-ins is on Friday I have to cut it out accordingly so um, just taking all that into account and just making sure I can make adjustments ahead of time so when the time comes where it's critical I can be on point um, so you know just taking all that information in as well as just uh, kind of for further analyzing and making the necessary adjustments because yeah you know things are not always be perfect and things are not always go the way you want them to as well as uh and you're on your path to uh, your purpose and what you're what you want successfully and success wise in life. Um, you have to be able to adjust to the obstacles that come in front of you. It just it's just reality. It's just what happens, you know. Um, and even in tough situations and critical moments, it depends on how you make those adjustments and um, and how determined and how you know set forward you are to not only make those adjustments and stick with it and fight through it to make sure that way you can come out on top no matter what. And doing so is something that you can always uh, take with you and learn from it and then you can apply it to the next obstacle that comes in front of you and you will notice that it will be significantly easier to overcome those things based on past experience. So <clears throat> I do, I, I will also say that I was <coughs> slightly, uh, slightly under the weather. Um, the days prior to my training um so you know these are the things that i, I again have to take into consideration to have to take into account that uh you know one of these factors could play a contributing factor i mean at the end of the day for me personally there's no excuse i feel like you either do what you can or you either go 100 percent or you don't like you get it or you don't but i feel like there's no gray area but you know um still have to take into account and factor in the, all the different variables that could attribute to the moniker of success or the failure. So I'm going to be definitely be taking these next uh, six days to really just rest and um, get my mind right, as well as just make any last minute adjustments that I do have to make. Um, like of course, the main priority is just making sure that I make my weight and uh, going from there. So definitely, um, Programming wise, I would say that this program that I definitely did uh, has made a significant difference. Um, so, you know, I don't want to jump ahead and I want to jump a gun and anticipate myself saying that it was a success because to me it all depends on how I win the platform. And uh, but so I would definitely say that 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 slight variance um, 
in training in regards to my change volume and intensity as well as uh, rest periods does play a factor as well as something you have to take consideration as well. You know, you can't expect to do the same thing over and over and over again and expect a different outcome. You have to have some variety. You have to have change in order to be able to, you know, to be successful or to stay consistent and make some progress, you know. So these are things to just taking into consideration and uh, looking at what are my best options to be able to perform optimally at my best in regards to the variables that I had in front of me. So um, most likely my next video will definitely be um, my train footage, I mean my meat footage, um, as well as just a quick recap of how the meat went. And I will cover, I can cover any adjustments that I did make that are outside of the norm for me and routine in regards to the meat week. Um, as well as uh, how training is going to look for the foreseeable future and uh, depending on if my uh, programming changes or not. But also, um, one quick note is that last Wednesday, I actually pulled again with the blocks, these one, one and a half inch blocks, and I was actually able to pull 635 for four, which moved very, very well. And um, I definitely believe that based on how that actually uh, fourth rep went, I definitely had another rep in me. So, um, But again, wanted to play the more conservative role and kind of say that and save pushing that central nervous system for meat day. And um, I think that making that adjustment as well in my training has played a very big factor in regards to making some progress. So we will see how that uh, factors into uh, meat day. So six days out, my next video will definitely be um, next Sunday going over the meat, which is on Saturday. So um, if you have any questions, any questions about me week, any questions about weighing as well, how just trying to cut weight or make sure that you uh, are weighing in accordingly for your weight class, as well as what weight class you feel is best that suits you, please just uh, shoot me an email. I'll be gladly to answer those questions for you. As always, guys, thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate the support. And um, definitely looking to, uh, the goal is for this competition is definitely to re qualify for Worlds. And uh, that's what I'm set to do. Of course, I want to do perform at my absolute best, but the most important thing is to make sure that I get my real qualification so that we can get um, to 2018 Worlds and uh, keep uh, keep working and keep pushing. So that's the goal, and as well as you know, um, perform at my absolute best, and we will see what happens. As always, guys, thank you for watching the videos. I really do support it. No matter what, please always keep pushing yourselves, keep believing in yourselves, and no matter what, don't let anything or anyone stop you. Thank you for watching the videos and take care.